Hi, it's John Mitchell with another Mayor's Weekly Update. This week we're talking about the budget, uh, which is a big point in the year. It takes a lot of work to put together a $312 million budget, and uh, we've, uh, we've done it. Um, and as in past years, this, is, this year's budget has been an exercise in figuring out what our core needs are. We have a city that uh, is constrained financially. That's not news to anybody. We have, we've, uh, uh, over the years, we've seen uh, growth in our tax base that hasn't kept up with the growth in the general economy. We've had a lot of job growth in the last few years, and that's great, and we want to continue to accelerate that, but it hasn't translated just yet uh, into more um, tax revenue for uh, the city. So that means that we have to make the most of every dollar. Um, uh, thankfully, we've been managing our money well in city government um, through the work of Ari Sky, our CFO. We have, uh, we've achieved efficiencies that are unprecedented in the city's history and now have the highest bond rating by Wall Street in the city's history, which is a real mark of success. So what are those key areas that we're funding uh, this year? Well, there, there are a couple. One, and they have to do with public safety as well as education. But on the public safety front, um, you know, we have a situation, uh, particularly in our fire department, where um, we've had this uh, looming um, deficit, as it were. Uh, most of the fire, big, about a third, excuse me, of the fire department and when I got into office was funded uh, by what's called a federal SAFER grant. And we know that the federal government is not going to be permanently in the business of funding the New Bedford Fire Department, so we've had to bring firefighters incrementally onto the city payroll. We've had to do that uh, in a way that ensures public safety and, and, um, and to try to avoid firefighter layoffs. And we've been successful in that. We've invested an awful lot of money in the fire department, we have millions of dollars in new equipment and repairs to stations, as well as a new station in the works, which will be the first in about in over 60 years. All good stuff, uh, but it's, it's going to uh, continue to put a little bit of a stretch on the, the budget. Not a huge one, but uh, the one that's larger than other funding areas. Um, another uh, area where we have put some more money is in the school department. Uh, school, the school department is funded at the net school spending level, um, which, uh, which means that it's right at the, the, the point required by the state. But uh, we're able to uh, fund a couple of key areas. One area is, uh, in particular is that now uh, we are able to extend um, the school day on Fridays for elementary school students. 41 years ago, there was a strike in the city that resulted in uh, shortened days on Fridays for elementary school teachers. And, uh, and I wanted, and the school committee wanted to put an end to that, and we've done that now. So that elementary school students here in New Bedford get the same day that kids elsewhere get, which was very important to me. All in all, though, the budget uh, is, uh, is a steady-as-she-goes budget. And what we're trying to do in New Bedford is get out of the habit of reacting to things, of playing catch-up, of figuring stuff out um, af after the problem or, uh, arises. What we're trying to do is in to anticipate problems, to think long-term, to begin to um, foresee uh, our funding constraints in the future and also to seize on our opportunities. So that requires careful planning, thoughtfulness, uh, really good engagement with the City Council, which has certainly happened during this budget. I appreciate their hard work. Um, and so we have a, the, the idea is that in the long run, we want the city to be able uh, to have uh, better and better services, to improve services, but at the same time, um, ease the demands on taxpayers. And so this year, that's what we're going to see. There will be a, much, a smoothing out of both uh, taxes as well as, uh, as, as, well as the, the cutting that we've seen in city government in recent years. And so in the long run, we really want to build up our cushions, our fund balances in, in, um, uh, that we have to brace against uh, bad uh, events, but also to make sure that we're getting better at what we do all the time. So. Uh, all in all, it's a really solid budget. If you want more detail, you know you should uh, take a look at cable access. They, they will continue to play uh, the my budget address over and over again. You can also go to the city's website and see it there, as well as to uh, uh, read my budget address. Thank you, everybody.